Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus. Today I'm going to be sharing some bleak film recommendations because, yeah, who doesn't want a little bit more bleakness in their life? These aren't necessarily my favourite bleak films or the bleakest films I've ever seen, but just five films that I think are well worth your time if you haven't already seen them and yeah, are just ones that I don't hear a ton of people talk about. So I wanted to, yeah, give them my recommendation. So I feel like Hollywood doesn't do bleak too often, but this is the most Hollywood one on this list. It is First Reformed, directed by Paul Schrader from 2017. A pastor of a small church in upstate New York starts to spiral out of control after a soul-shaking encounter with an unstable environmental activist and his pregnant wife. This is a really excellent one, definitely fits the bill for Bleak. Um, it's, yeah, it's a pretty rough watch. It's a very interesting concept and yeah, Ethan Hawke gives a stunning performance as the pastor. Yeah, I don't have a ton of details to say about this one, but it's, it really surprised me. I think I wasn't expecting it to be so hard hitting uh, and effective. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's the one on this list that most people will have probably at least heard of if they haven't already seen. But I still think it was worth mentioning because I, yeah, I don't really hear a ton of people talk about it, but I definitely recommend it. Next up is Dead Man's Shoes from 2004, directed by Shane Meadows. A soldier returns home to his small town and exacts a deadly revenge on the thugs who tormented his dim-witted brother while he was away. <sighs> this film just destroyed me. I watched this, like, when it first came out, I had never heard of it. I didn't know what it was about going into it. A friend brought round a DVD and we just stuck it on. <laughs> and <laughs> so I was, like, not prepared for this film whatsoever. Um, it's, yeah, I... It's one that stayed with me this whole time. I think about it from time to time because it had such an impact on me. Um, it's a really rough watch. So yeah, this is part revenge story um, and Paddy Considine is just absolutely amazing in this role. But then we also get the, yeah, the playing out of what happened with the younger brother. This film absolutely blew me away, um, but I just, yeah, no one seems to talk about it. So I don't know if People have seen it but didn't think it was all that or they just haven't seen it. And yeah, this one is brutal <laughs> as well as being bleak. So yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, it gets my highest recommendation. Next up is Nothing Bad Can Happen, directed by Katrin Gebe from 2013. Inspired by horrifying true events, Nothing Bad Can Happen follows Tor, a young lost soul involved with an underground Christian punk movement who falls in with a dysfunctional family who tests his seemingly unwavering faith. Yeah, the fact that this is based on true events is, yeah, just devastating to think about. This is about a character who, yeah, falls in with this family. The father is sadistic and, yeah, puts the main character through various things, but the main character sees these things as a test of his faith that he must endure and get through and yeah things just get worse and worse it's another brutal one and it's a grim one um yeah another one that really stayed with me because it was so hard-hitting um and yeah just generally super bleak um just awful really um but i really think it's an excellent film and again yeah, one that I just don't hear anyone talk about and I'm not really sure why because I think it was fantastic. Um, but yeah, not an easy watch at all. Next is The Witch Who Came From The Sea, directed by Matt Simber from 1976. Anger stemming from being abused as a child drives an alcoholic's daughter to kill as an adult. So yeah, very short and sweet synopsis there. And this is one of the video nasties and I went into this expecting, yeah, it to be some really gory and gruesome affair, hence, you know, the reason for it being banned, but it is not that at all. In fact, from what I remember, the special effects were <laughs> really basic and just like, you know, the occasional splash of 
fake blood. And this is actually much more of a psychological horror film. And it follows a female character who was abused as a child by her father, but now as an adult she still idolises her father, so she has this very complex relationship with that trauma, but she also hates men in general and yeah, has uh, some violent things happen uh, through that. Yeah, this is definitely one that was not what I was expecting when I went into it, but I was pleasantly or unpleasantly um, surprised that, that, that it was a much more, you know, deep and meaningful story than the gore fest I was thinking I was getting into. Very bleak, heartbreaking, but it's one that I think is really underrated um, and more people should give it a watch. And last up for this list is Clean Shaven from 1993, directed by Lodge Kerrigan. Peter Winter is a young schizophrenic who is desperately trying to get his daughter back from her adoptive family. He attempts to function in a world that for him is filled with strange noises, electrical noise, disconcerting images, and jarringly sudden emotional shifts. During his quest, he runs afoul of the law and an ongoing murder investigation. This is a really interesting one in its visual style and the portrayal of schizophrenia uh, through this particular character. And yeah, just a really bleak story, surprise, surprise. Um, I think, again, it's one that I just don't really hear anyone talk about. I know I've said that for each of these. Um, we've already established that, but anyway, I think this is, um, a, yeah, a great example of that kind of underrated gem that I think more people should check out, you know, if it sounds like your cup of tea. Yeah, this one is really haunting, really interesting and unique watch, and one that, like I said, with all of the others, I would highly recommend. So it can be a bit difficult to recommend films like this because, you know, they're not fun watches, and I think a lot of people you know, they want to escape from life <laughs> when they watch a film. But if you are, yeah, prepared for something a bit more challenging, then yeah, these are five films that I would highly recommend you put on your watch list. Let me know if you've already seen any of these, I would love to hear your thoughts, and do let me know if you have any bleak film recommendations of your own. I'm also going to be doing a bleak book recommendations video, so keep an eye out for that. And if you want to hear a bit more about Bleak Week, the concept of it, uh, I will link my previous video if you haven't already seen that one. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.